Hello and thank you for joining me for another tutorial. It's been a while. I've been focusing more lately on my online store, but I'm back and I'm feeling very inspired to create a lot more YouTube videos. So this video I shot while I was getting ready for a photo shoot that I did as part of a collaboration with the brand Katacom. I hope I'm saying it right. They are a brand based in Canada. They specialize in Southern Gothic and dark glamour. And I'm just obsessed with their aesthetic. It's mainly uh, black and red. If you check out their Instagram, you'll notice it. But they are now launching a pink dress with red accents, which is my favorite color combo. And luckily they reached out to me to collaborate, mainly because this goes so well with my lipstick, the perfect red. Anyway, you can check out mine and Catacomb's Instagram for more details. So let's go ahead and start this tutorial. I'm starting this with clean hair, which I lightly straightened with a blow dryer. As always, I will start by parting the hair, creating a side part and then continuing to parting it in a way that I know works in my hair for this type of roll. This may change depending on how thick or long your hair is in this area. I am quickly rolling this section into a tight little bun for now so I can take care of the back of the hair. The rest of the hair will go into a ponytail at first. Make sure to brush all of the hair in the direction of the ponytail. You can use some hairspray to smooth the hair and control the flyaways. Use a hairband to tie the hair. You can use bobby pins to perfect the sides of the hair like I am doing here, but it's not a must. Next, grab another hairband, twist the ponytail and try to create the smallest bun possible. I did it kind of weird as you can see here, but that's how it worked out for me that particular day. Let's go ahead and style the front roll. I'm gonna start by curling all of it with a 19mm curling iron doing so in small sections that fit the curling iron. I'm doing so in a way that kind of emulates rollers and then I'm taking out the curling iron and inserting a hair clip instead. That way I can secure the roll in place until the hair cools off completely. Repeat the same curling action in this entire section. After letting the curls cool for at least a few minutes, you can take out the clips and proceed to the next step. Next, I'm backcombing this whole section. This is a very important step to make the hair more easy to sculpt, but also it adds some volume and durability to the roll. Simply grab small sections and comb them towards your scalp. Spread this whole mess a bit so it doesn't stay in kind of separate lines and then group it back into one section and start smoothing it a bit. We're trying to only smooth the outside layer so use a teasing brush to very gently brush this section of hair. You can start using hairspray at this point to start smoothing it a bit more. Thank you. 
When you feel like it's smooth enough, you can start directing the hair in the direction and shape you want. As you can see, I start doing it and if I see something isn't working, I fix it and start again. This is important because this shape uh, is the actual outline of the roll and basically the frame of the face. I start rolling from the base because I am looking to create a spiral shape where the roll becomes smaller and smaller inside. So after I'm happy with the outer shape, I just keep rolling the ends of the hair or the ends of the curl into a spiral shape, making sure the rolling is smooth. Your hands can get tired pretty quickly from all of this uh, styling and that's pretty much where perfectionism ends. So the first thing I do when I'm happy with the shape overall I use a hair clip or a few hair clips to secure this in place and free up my hands. Once the clips hold the style in place, you can see me squinting my eyes a lot because for me the most important part is the proportions and making sure it looks good overall and flattering in terms of the size and the shape so that's more important to me than the small details. I can only do that when my hands are free, thanks to the clips. Also this way I can work on perfecting this style and add all the touches that make it actually stay in place, like using hairspray and inserting bobby pins calmly with free hands as I'm about to do in the next step. I tend to use my nails a lot to do what needs to be done with the metal end of the comb so here you can see how to actually use it to smooth and direct the hair inside the roll. I'm starting to take out the clips while the hairspray dries so it doesn't leave too much of a mark. And you can see it's still not holding because it has no bobby pins inside yet so the styling is pretty much done on the outside but the structure is not supported inside. I basically have a cinnamon roll on my forehead so it has some weight that needs to be supported. I start inserting some bobby pins and also u-shaped pins underneath and inside the roll but I feel like I need to keep it in place a bit longer and use more hairspray without leaving too much of a mark so I use u-shaped pins again just to hold it in place but not inserting them all the way in so I can easily take them out once the hairspray will dry a bit later. Next I'm gonna be adding a synthetic ponytail I got online. It's the kind that comes on a claw clip and I just removed the clip so I can attach it on the bun I created. I'm sorry but I don't have a specific link to share with you. I don't really want to refer you to a random supplier I found online but I promise it's just the most basic cheap synthetic ponytail that you can find and I dyed it using synthetic fabric dye and also styled it before using a curling iron on very low heat. I'm using some U-shaped pins to help hold it in place. And the lazy solution to hide the messy connection is just to put a bow on it, so here you go. And that's it, just taking out the pins and everything is in place. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.